a giant wormhole, or simply said, a connection between regions of space-time opens up in space near Earth. Our world faces chaos unlike anything before. Satellites incinerated, skies ripped open by radiation storms, entire power grids blacked out. The atmosphere is swelling and scorching. The oceans are boiling. The magnetic shield is shattering. Suddenly, the wormhole destabilizes. Space-time starts to unravel, tearing Earth apart from the inside out. People are seeking shelter, but nothing can save them anymore. Look at this devastation. This isn't just a sci-fi scenario. It's a cosmic apocalypse waiting to happen and rewrite the fate of humanity. The thing is, some black holes might actually be secret space portals. It may sound like something straight out of Stranger Things, but it's not. Scientists have been wondering for years if some black holes could actually be wormholes in disguise, tunnels through space and time. And now, a new study says this might actually be possible, at least in theory. Wormholes are like cosmic shortcuts that let you pop out in a totally different part of the universe. Unfortunately, we've never found one, and the whole concept still lives in the land of what if. Here's the problem. To actually make a wormhole work, you'd need something called negative energy. That's not just rare. It doesn't even exist in the regular universe. Maybe in some weird world of quantum physics, but even there, it's super uncertain. Still, scientists have a wild thought. What if some black holes aren't just giant space vacuums that swallow everything around them, but are really hidden wormholes? The odds of that are tiny, like winning the lottery while getting struck by lightning and discovering extraterrestrials at the same time. But mathematically? Mathematically, it's not impossible. That's where the new study comes in. Researchers looked at a weird type of black hole called a Schwarzschild black hole. These ones don't spin, don't have electric charge, and, very predictably, are totally hypothetical. They're just the math version of a black hole, not something we've seen in space. In any case, the team studied something called quasi-normal modes, which is just a fancy way of saying how space vibrates around a black hole when you mess with it. These vibrations don't go on forever. They fade out like the ringing sound you get when you hit a bell. By analyzing those space-time vibes, scientists tried to figure out if they could tell the difference between a regular black hole and a wormhole pretending to be one. It turns out that it's super hard to tell this difference. But maybe that's the point. Wormholes might be hiding in plain sight, wearing black hole costumes like it's Space Halloween. Wormholes could copy a black hole's behavior almost perfectly, at least on paper. The researchers uploaded the whole study to ARCSIF, which is where science nerds drop their ideas before they hit the big journals. And it's already been published in Physical Review D, which is a serious physics magazine. The coolest thing, though, is that it isn't a brand new idea. Scientists have been debating this whole black hole or wormhole thing for decades. Back in 2021, some researchers wondered if the giant black holes at the centers of galaxies, called active galactic nuclei, were actually wormhole entrances. And in 2022, a team in Bulgaria said that the light coming from a wormhole could look almost exactly like what comes from a black hole. There's also this sci-fi level theory that some black holes might be paired with opposite twins, called white holes. A white hole basically spits stuff out instead of sucking it in. Together, a black and a white hole could form a wormhole tunnel. But no one's found a white hole either, yet. So that idea is still just theory. By the way, in this latest study, the authors have shown that wormholes and black holes not only look similar, but also sound similar. At least in how space-time shakes around them when they get hit with something. So our next move should be fine-tuning our scientific models, especially near the part of the wormhole called the throat. Scientists want to see if wormholes could fake even more black hole-like behavior, but it's tricky. Some of the math gets super hard. In any case, how about finding out more about these mysterious wormholes? You've seen them in every second sci-fi movie. Magical space tunnels that let you skip across the universe. Einstein was the first one to have dreamed them up. Wormholes are still 100% hypothetical, and we've never spotted one. 
But that doesn't stop people from theorizing. Like, what if a wormhole started sucking in matter like a black hole does? If a wormhole started eating stuff like dust, gas, or space debris, it would create a plasma tornado, a literal space firestorm in its throat. And this twisty storm would eventually blast out the other side of the wormhole, firing hot plasma at nearly 125 million miles per hour. That's about one-fifth the speed of light. It would also be insanely hot in there, so hot it could probably trigger nuclear fusion. Of course, all of this is still just theoretical. No one's seen a wormhole do this. No one's seen a wormhole do anything, actually. But the math says it could happen if we ever find a wormhole. The bright side of it all is that we would probably spot an event with so much drama. Even though wormholes don't have an event horizon, aka the point of no return, like black holes, they still bend light. Normally, you might not be able to see something like that, but this thing is so absurdly bright from the plasma firestorm that you would actually see it glowing in space. Think of it like a black hole, but with a glowing center instead of just darkness and a jet of flaming plasma shooting out one side like a broken space faucet. Still, don't get your hopes up for spotting one anytime soon. Even if we did find a wormhole, it probably wouldn't last long. It could break apart or transform into a completely different type of space-time before we even realized what we were looking at. Plus, keep in mind that wormholes might look almost exactly like black holes unless you know what kind of light polarization, how light waves line up, to look for. Now, let's talk a bit more about black holes themselves. You're likely to know them as insane space beasts that suck up everything nearby. Gas, dust, even light. And once something crosses a black hole's event horizon, it's trapped forever. Scientists say that inside, everything gets crushed into a tiny point called a singularity, where the usual rules of physics totally break down. But back in 2010, a physicist named Nikodem Pavlovsky had a crazy idea. What if black holes don't have singularities? Instead, what if the center of a black hole is actually a doorway to another universe? Maybe our entire universe was born from matter shooting out of a black hole in some parent universe. Poplovsky's theory uses something called torsion, which is like a weird gravitational twist that stops matter from getting crushed infinitely. Because of torsion, instead of crashing into a singularity, matter inside a black hole can create a tunnel, a so-called Einstein-Rosen bridge, or simply a wormhole, connecting a black hole to a white hole. So, imagine matter falling into a black hole in one universe, then popping out of a white hole in another. Poplovsky thinks this could explain the Big Bang, but as a big bounce, meaning the universe keeps cycling through phases of expansion and contraction, not just one huge explosion. Sadly, if such a tunnel existed, it would be a one-way trip. Nothing would come back through to the original universe. Some scientists are still skeptical because torsion hasn't been proven yet. But other experts think Poplovsky's model is super promising. They even go further and say that our whole universe might be living inside a giant black hole hundreds of billions of light years wide. Now, we just need to figure out how to test this. Future space studies might give us more clues, like checking if our universe is closed, which basically means that it's curved without an edge, or digging deeper into cosmic background radiation, which is the leftover glow from the Big Bang. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.